I'm Joe Pogge, and it's an honor to be here to introduce a leader, a mentor, a friend, and the mastermind behind 93Q and the Q Morning Zoo, John Lander. It was the summer of 1982, and John was summoned by Hard Hanks Radio to come to Houston and do something with KULF 790 AM. It was July 2nd of 1982, 79Q was born about the same time many AM signals were abandoning music. But under John's leadership, the new KKBQ and QZU shot to the top of the Arbitron ratings. Seeing the success firsthand, it was a no-brainer to hand him the keys to their FM property, KYMD. That happened in January of 1983. KKBQ, AM, and FM dominated the radio scene in Space City for the next decade with the great music, memorable promotions, and stunts that are still top of mind some 20 years later. The homemade bikini contest, asking listeners to show up at 2100 Travis Street in their underwear. Also, the marathon Bruce Springsteen concert that had people re-showing up at the summit the day after. If you ever met a member of his crew, they will tell you that John's ability to lead was legendary. When you came to KKBQ, you became part of his family, in and out of the radio station. I remember many a nights playing basketball with Lander over on Tanglewood. What is Lander up to these days? Fishing, family, and finding a new radio home. John could not make it here for the celebration due to family conflict, but he is here in spirit as are we, to celebrate his much-deserved and long-awaited induction to the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. And speaking on a personal note, I am so lucky. I'm the luckiest guy I've ever been. It was the best time of my life to be part of the 93Q Morning Zoo crew. Thank you, John Lander, and congratulations.